three massive BBC EastEnders theories, Christmas murder plot, Vic revenge horror and mental health spiral. Linda Carter turns on her pal Sharon Watts and the Panasar clan as she introduces the new co-owner of the Vic this week. But in failing to remember how dangerous Nish Panasar can be, the EastEnders' favorite is flirting with danger. 1. Furious revenge over Vic ownership. Linda, played by Kelly Bright, had to sell Mick and Janine Carter's half of the Vic and was devastated to realize she could lose the pub altogether. Sharon Watts, Letitia Dean, was the first to make an offer, ready to handle a new business aside from the boxing den and save her friend from the streets. The landlady was happy to allow Sharon become a co-owner of the pub until she was met with the businesswoman's rigid ways and a counter-offer from Suki and Nish Panasar, Balvinder Sopal and Narveen Chowdhury. Unconvinced, Linda was then seen on the phone with a mystery buyer and, due to her mother Elaine returning to Walford with a brand new partner, viewers have realized she'd be keeping the Vic in the family. 2. Plot for Christmas murder begins. Although her friendship with Linda could be headed for the rocks this week, Sharon has an even bigger bone to pick with the Panasars. Recent scenes of the London-based drama have shown Ravi Gulati, Aaron Tiara, attack Sharon's other half Keanu Taylor and she was eager to get revenge. Nish saw his son was in danger and quickly interjected. With a chilling whodunit in the works, announced to hit our screens during the Christmas season, fans have speculated Nish or Ravi, or both, could be at the center of the murder mystery. After losing the Vic, one could theorize that Sharon may have enough of the Panasars trying to rule over Walford and have more than enough reason to lash out if Nish begins to take his anger out on Linda. 3. New mental health struggle. Soap bosses have announced Ben Mitchell, Max Bowden, will be battling an eating disorder in upcoming scenes, but he won't be the only one struggling with his mental health. A new harrowing storyline begins for Kim Fox, Tamika Empson, as the beloved bold beautician faces justice for her car crash this week. Kim becomes a shell of her no-nonsense self as Albert Square residents are getting ready to celebrate King Charles III's coronation. She first tries to keep her head up by taking part in a historical performance with Felix Baker as Dusty Springfield. However, her stress levels reach an all-time high and only get worse when she can't find Denzel Danes, Jaden Ledega, in the crowd. On the eve of her court case, Kim has a full-blown panic attack when Shush is asked to drive for a work errand. Denzel sees her locked inside her vehicle and assumes Shush is having a heart attack. The youngster makes Kim promise to tell his father Howie Danes about the incident but she eventually decides against it. Kim prepares for court the following day, full of anxiety, while Denzel tries to help her. However, he soon realizes she hasn't anything to Howie about her panic attack.